What's going on guys, Bengal again here, coming back at you with another video. And uh, a couple things to address before we start. I am live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash Bengal, although I, although I would appreciate your follows on here, I don't normally stream Madden. I, MLB and Call of Duty Warzone are my main two games that I stream on Twitch, but I stream like every single day. Um, big shout out to Jake Featherdumps and um, Scribs for donating a ton of subs tonight. It's been crazy. Everyone's getting involved. Overthrow the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you guys. Uh, I, I think that's why I'm blushing right now. I am unbelievably red. And uh, also, I have such a sensitive neck. I touched my neck here for a second, and now it's just so red. So... Hopefully my neck goes away. I don't know what's going on with my face. It's like, it feels hot. It's very interesting. But uh, we're going to do a live rebuild all the way through. So you'll hear me interact with the chat and things like that along the course of this thing. So it will be a little bit of a longer video. But we're doing the Jets without Jamal Adams. A lot of thoughts about him getting traded. And people called me an idiot when I made a video on it like a month ago. And now it seems like almost, uh, not a given of course, but... It seems like it'll probably end up happening, and of course, I guess I can walk you guys through it, exactly what I do uh, in these rebuilds. So, as this is the Jets rebuild without Jamal Adams, it's also the Makai Becton, Denzel Mims Jets rebuild. We'll go over the entire roster here in a minute, but uh, I usually have auto-progress players on. People are like, why don't you progress your players? I The CPU does it almost always. Scout college players I have on manual until I change that after I load in the draft class. Weekly training is on auto. And I think pretty much the rest I don't touch except for injury off. Player progression, I, f I usually do. Uh, I usually do end of the season. But um, yeah, this is how I usually have everything set up. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, we don't even worry about a custom coach since I am streaming. This video is also brought to you by Manscaped and of course the brand new Weed Whacker. Perfect for taking care of your nose hair. This is a canvas product. They might as well be a security firm with the type of safety and power that Manscaped offers with this new Weed Whacker. Big motor, not going to cut you. So, very highly recommend picking up the Weed Whacker and of course the Lawnmower 3.0 and other products can't go wrong with the perfect package you can use code bangles save yourself 20 percent and also get free shipping so when you got great products and a great discount you can't go wrong shout out to manscapes links are gonna be in the top line of the description check out the weed whacker use code bangle get 20 percent off and free shipping thanks again to manscape so hopefully we have a uh, a good time with this it's gonna be fun to hang out with the chat we got over 500 people in here and my face is so red i mean i look like a tomato I, I look like I just spent about, oh, 40 years out in the sun. I'm so red. Why is that? I mean, <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um, this is the team. A lot of rookies in here. We're going to be changing some development traits as well. Makai Becton, we're going to give... Um, we're going to give star development to. He's not really a... I, I mean, maybe he's kind of a boomer bust prospect. Uh, we're going to give him five years because that's assuming we're picking up his fifth year option. Of course, with loading in the in the uh, actual roster by MF Maddox. Shout out to him for the Madden 2021 class. No development traits can be changed. And um, the rookie contracts are not as they need to be. Denzel Mims, I want to get significant playing time in year one. Just because he's so young. He, he has a lot of potential as well for your contract for him. I'm also going to give him star development. One of the better receivers in the draft class. I think that's uh, well warranted. But uh, yeah, I think who else is was a rookie that is uh, is worth changing their details on? Uh, I'm sure the chat's going to tell me. I don't remember the Jets' full draft class. But Jamal Adams will have to be traded from the start here. So we're going to decide where to trade him. I think Dallas is going to be the team I decide to deal with. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the team. Before trading Jamal Adams, got Makai Becton, first round pick at left tackle, like that. The rest of the offensive line is not good. Alex Lewis, Connor McGovern, Brian Winters, George Fant, not ideal. This is really, really poor. I mean, George Fant is someone who was like almost a tight end hybrid somehow in Seattle. Not too good. The only guy who's even okay is Brian Winters. 
At 28, though, regression's going to start to hit him a little bit. Chris Herndon, I want to start over Ryan Griffin. And um, at wide receiver, we got to improve here in a big way. Jamison Crowder, Quincy Anunlo, Brashad Perriman, Josh Doxson, Josh Bellamy, and of course, Denzel Mims. I want Denzel Mims playing a lot. When I talked about this team and I broke it down in my Jamal Adams trade video, everyone was like, oh, what do you mean they don't have great players? Like, what, you've never heard of Chris Herndon? I mean, are we serious right now? Chris Herndon is a really solid player because he's young and he's had great games when he's actually on the field. He's dealt with some injuries and some suspensions, but we can't call him a great player. Like People are like, oh, did you forget about like Jordan Willis? I, I'm, it's so crazy to me. Think about what a, a really, truly above average player is. People are talking about Marcus May. Is he a top 20 safety in the NFL? No, he's a decent young player. But that's kind of it. Ashton Davis is another rookie as well. We got to uh, adjust his contract to four years. Bryce Hall as well. Team also drafted Jabari Zuniga out of Florida. Ashton Davis, I'm going to leave it normal development. Um, solid safety at Cal. Actually has some good ability to play over the top. Solid tackler. Got to love that. What overall is Bryce Hall going to be? He only dropped because of injuries. So that is a little bit frustrating that he's not at least a 69 overall. Nice. And uh, Zuniga, of course, for your deal. For Jabari there. Bryce Hall might be someone I give star development just because he would have gone a lot higher if not for injury. Le'Veon Bell, of course, I think is one of the best running backs in the league. Set out a year. Didn't play particularly well behind a terrible offensive line a year ago in a putrid Jets offense. Of course, Sam Darnold as well. Frank Gore, the team signed for whatever reason. David Fales, Joe Flacco in there as well. Uh, defense is a bit better. Marcus May, Jamal Adams, who, of course, we'll be trading. So we got to get a better safety in there. It's probably going to be Ashton Davis. I don't really want Matthias Farley playing a ton, if I'm honest. So Ashton Davis is going to play. Actually, he's more suited to play free safety than Marcus May is. So we're going to move Marcus May to strong safety. Trade Jamal Adams, which is painful to do because he's someone I usually like to acquire. Jordan Jenkins at right outside linebacker. CJ Mosley and Avery Williamson at inside linebacker is a pretty good tandem on the inside of our 3-4, and then Jordan Willis, an outside linebacker, on that left side. Not too terrible. Defensive line's good as well. Quinn Williams, Nathan Shepard, Steve McLennan's old, got to trade him. Henry Anderson, kind of trending towards the same thing. He's a bit younger, but at 28, he's only going to regress from here. And then at cornerback, people are naming Brian Poole as well. Yeah, he's one of the best players in the league. Yeah, of course he is. He's He isn't. Pierre Desir as well. Bless on Austin. Quincy Wilson. I mean, ugh. This is kind of a brutal team. I don't know why... Actually, I do know the, the reason the Jets get hyped up as much as they do, because they're a New York team with a pretty big following, even though they play, of course, in New Jersey, but, you know, that New York fan base. I mean, they're just not that good. They, they don't really have a ton of good pieces. Their coaching is still bad. I mean, people talk about them like, oh, they're they're so good. The, people love to say, oh, better than the Giants, your favorite team. Like, But, yeah, maybe. It's like, yeah, your shit sandwich might taste a little better than mine, but at the end of the day, it's a shit sandwich. The Jets are terrible. I know the Giants are terrible, and Jets fans watching this video are like, no, we got potential. Yeah, go win seven games again. Tell me how good you are. Like, who cares? There's no problem with not being there yet. Teams go through, you know, at the top of hills and valleys. That's what it is. You just don't want it to plateau. Sometimes you're going to fall down. The Jets made back-to-back -back AFC championships in 2009 and 2010, right? So they have been good in the past. But they're going through a little bit of a downhill streak right now. So it is what it is. You, you can't talk about them like they're so good. They're not. That's okay. That's fine. The Giants suck even badly. Or even worse, I should say. Terrible. But let's go ahead and uh, trade Jamal Adams. We might even want to package him to maximize his value. Who would I want to move? Pierre Desir. He's going to regress. We're not going to win anything this year anyway. Uh, I want to hold on to our two middle linebackers. Patrick Owasso was also signed. Blake Cashman has a lot of potential. I like him. This might even be more suited to be a 4-3 team, if I'm honest. Um, Owasso, we could... He's not really my long-term plans. We could move him. I think I'm going to try to trade Steve McClendon, though. Don't really want to trade a ton on offense. Quincy Inouye is pretty injury-prone, uh, but I like him as a player. Giant Bird with the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for the subscriber. And, uh, I mean, is the Bears the team we want to work with? Three greens. This is usually the way I go in looking for trades. I'll just scroll through kind of fast. 
Colts. Hmm. 49ers. I think it's going to be almost virtually impossible to acquire Nick Bosa. Could be the one player I'm trying to trade for from the Niners, really. So I don't think we're going to do anything with them. We need to find someone in that age range. But, like, eh, I don't know. It could be kind of tough. It usually is tough to trade for some of the best players. So I think we might opt for picks instead. Aaron Donald might be acquirable just because he's 28 and uh, he's a right end, though, instead of defensive tackle. So his value is going to be a little bit higher. What else would I want? I would want a pick, but, like, I don't think they're going to want to do this. I mean, there's there's something there. I don't think we're going to be able to get Aaron Donald, though, so I'd have to settle for just picks. What I want from the Seahawks. Uh, nothing really here. I'm aiming for p uh, potential more than actual ability now, but that's that's a little bit tough. If we get David DeCastro and Stefan to it, though, that would be a hell of a trade. Obviously, TJ Watt's not going to work as well. Ooh, okay, hold on. Hold on, we have something here. Just Dubs, appreciate the uh, tier one, buddy. Thank you so much for that sub. If we get to Castro and to it, that's a that's a big trade, and we're gonna be able to. It might be a second round pick. Oh, jeez, it, it's the same value. I don't really want to trade a first this year. First next year might be a little bit easier to give away, and they're not gonna do it. Maybe if we work out a trade in multiple parts, I want Stefan to it. He'd be good on the inside. I think TJ Watt's going to be even more impossible. Yeah, he's not a player you can get. TJG X Cosmic, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Juju could be a player that's not too... Uh, well, he's going to be impossible. Uh, he wouldn't be too bad to get, though. Minka, going to be pretty impossible. It's going to have to be two separate trades, probably. And I think we're going to have to get to it first. And then DeCastro later. DeCastro should be easier. So maybe we... I'd like to get TJ Watt over Stefan to it if possible. But I just don't think that's going to be doable. Because this is just one of the guys that the, uh, the Madden trade logic has decided is not acquirable. But Jamal Adams for Stefan to it is obviously not a very good trade for us. What about Jamal Adams for Stefan to it at first? Not doable. Not doable. What if I added Steve McClendon back? He is apparently second round value. There's something to hear. Jamal Adams, Steve McClendon. Who was the other guy I tried to add to the trade? Was it Pierre Desir? There we go. I'll actually take that. That's not too bad. Um, Jamal Adams, Steve McClendon, Pierre Desir for Stefan Tuitt and a first. I mean, there are worse trades that could have uh, could have happened for sure. I'll take that. I'll take that. And then um, I kind of want David DeCastro as well. So if we could trade, we don't really have much on the on the defensive line to give away. Henry Anderson, maybe. Yeah, Henry Anderson. They don't want him. No, yes they do. Don't lie to me, boy. Don't lie to me. This would honestly go through straight up. Maybe we can make this a little bit bigger and take their second round pick or 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 a first rounder next year henry anderson don't really have anything at left guard to give away do they want alex lewis how why would they want that and then add in i mean does quincy and have value to them a little bit interesting I wonder if this would go through. This is a really odd trade. No. Can I do just do this? No. Would they be cool with giving me Jamison Crowder? Or taking Jamison Crowder? Oh, that's so close. That's so close. I would easily trade Jamison Crowder to get a first round pick. Now, the question... Patrick Owasso? He might be the final piece to this. No. It's going to have to be a pick if I want that. I wish Alex Lewis just had slightly more value. What about a third? Second might take. Which I usually like my second round picks, but... Are you kidding? Okay, so we're going to take the first out. 
We're going to make it a second this year. Uh, and then we're going to add back Quincy Anunua. Just 27 years old, 77 overall. Doesn't really work for me. They not Who was the other player that was in here? Henry Anderson. Who was it? It wasn't Owasso. Who, what else did I have in here? Alex Lewis. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how I can't remember that. They just don't want Quincy Anunua at all? Or are they valuing that second round pick a lot more than I thought? They're valuing the second round pick at a higher rate than the first? I feel like they changed that going into this year. Let's get a second next year. And then add back Quincy Anunua, and that should go through. I'm so confused. I'll add Crowder. I don't care. All right. Um, Henry Anderson, Alex Lewis, Jamison Crowder for David DeCastro and a second round pick. Jamison Crowder, realistically, is never going to get past an 85 overall. I think I can do better. So I would rather have a stud offensive lineman and a pick than him. Denzel Mims can play now a little bit more. I don't really want a lot of the receivers here. Denzel Mims has to be our slot receiver as well to get him targets. Uh, Brian Winters at right guard. We're going to move... No, nah, we'll move David DeCastro over to left. Yeah, David DeCastro is usually pretty, easier to, pretty easy to acquire, I would say. Quentin Nelson cheese. Eh, we do that a lot. We do that a lot. I don't want Ryan Griffin playing over Chris Herndon at all. Even though Ryan Griffin had played actually fairly well in some games last year. Uh, in... I want to say he scored a couple touchdowns. Don't quote me on that, but I think I think he may have. I mean, the fact that we have Brashad Perriman playing significant snaps is odd. I'm not done trading yet, by the way. I think... I think Quincy Anunua will be moved. I'm going to try and trade Frank Gore. I can't tell you that any team's going to want him. What else would I want to trade here? Maybe Matthias Farley? Maybe Matthias Farley. I think we could do that. Yeah, I would, I would be down for that. I would be down for that for sure. It's funny. Uh, you guys can't hear it in the video, but um, I'm still getting sub notifications because there were so many gifted. So I hear my sub noise uh, in my ear constantly. It's the only thing I'm hearing. But that might have actually been the last one. What, what did I say I was going to trade? Quincy Anunua. Nope, they're still going. Quincy Anunua, Matthias Farley, and maybe Patrick Owasso. If there's a team that wants these three players, I mean, guaranteed first round pick. Oh, from the Redskins too. And they should be bad, but they probably won't be. Two first round picks, please. Oh, yes. Quincy Anunwa, Matthias Farley, Patrick Owasso for two first round picks, one this year, one next year from the Washington Redskins. And those are probably all of the trades I'm going to do this season. I feel like we're going to move through this pretty quickly. Just need to change some of the positions because we need to get this team better. I'm going to start Chuma Idoga actually over George Fant just for potential sake. Denzel Mims, my number one. On defense, it really shouldn't matter that much. Terrell Basham's on this team. I kind of forgot about him. Ashton Davis at free safety. Cornerback's kind of weird. I said I was going to give Bryce Hall star development. I intend to honor that. Star development is like, I don't know, pretty low. But it does it does matter. Again, I feel like he would have been probably top two or, or three round pick without injury. So he was a solid player. And uh, I do want to play him... He's only a 64 overall, but we're going to be bad. I'm going to play him as my number two corner. We're going to get crushed anyway. It doesn't matter. Specialist, Denzel Mims in the slot. Josh Bellamy. Braxton Barrios is on the Jets. Why do I feel like he was on the Patriots for a minute? He might have been. Uh, Jake V. Appreciate the uh, tier one sub there. Good pass rusher setup. All right. That's how things are going to look. I'm in on that. I wish I could tell you we're set up to win right away. Not the case, but we do have picks. Things should look better down the road. We're doing a Jets rebuild without Jamal Adams. He was? Okay. I was right about Barrios. But, uh, oh, Joe Flacco with a skill point. Wow. 
We got a little bit of a quarterback controversy brewing here in uh in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Almost forgot to load in the draft class. So I timed that perfectly. Oh, we just lost 40 to 7 to the Pats. Let's go, baby. So I've been using ATL Falcons draft class, 2021 draft class. Shout out to ATL Falcons. He's done a really good job with this, in my opinion. Dylan, appreciate the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Patrick Sertan, B press. Oh. B press. He's a he's so physical at the line. And um, now I will turn on auto scout. And the CPU can take that for the rest of the rebuild. Doesn't really matter all that much. Um, Damon Harrison. Did the Jets get Damon Harrison back? Oh, yeah. They definitely did. it. And Marcel Darius. Oh, I forgot to do... Uh, I forgot to put in the new team without injury. Well, I'm trading Damon Harrison right now. Because he's 30. I mean, that's that's got to happen. It's going to free up a lot of space, too. So, Damon Harrison's got to go. And um, Marcel Darius has got to go as well. I mean, I don't want either of these guys. Where's Nathan Shepard? Oh, left end. They didn't get either of them? Oh, that was Madden auto-signing? Oh. Oh. I was about to say I didn't I don't didn't hear about that. Interesting. Um they signed him because they didn't have any defensive tackles, so that makes sense. If can I cheese Khalil Mack from this? I absolutely can. Or maybe not absolutely, but I might be able to. Please have interest in Joe Flacco, that'd be hilarious. They like Jay Cutler, didn't they? Three first round picks. Please take a second for Khalil Mack. No. I could get him. I could. But I would have to trade. It's not worth it, I don't even think. We might even see who's like real bad at the at the trade deadline. And then look to move him. Also. Why is it not simulate to trade deadline? Why is it simulate to midseason past a trade deadline? We're one and five. The Jags are six and one. The Dolphins are really bad as well. What do you guys think? Should we do a little bit of interdivisional trading? That's realistic, right? Damon Harrison and Marcel Darius. Dolphins don't. I mean, they they need defensive tackles a little bit. They have Christian Wilkins. Will it be one of their top needs? Ooh, it is. Give me that first round pick, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Damon Harrison, Marcel Darius straight up for number two. I maybe even could have gotten more. King Jose, appreciate the 500 bits, man. Thank you. And uh, we have no one who's a relevant free agent. Frankie Louvu. David Fails. I mean, we, we don't really need any of those guys. So we're chilling. Player upgrades don't really matter. And uh, we're not going to make the playoffs because we're 1-5 already. We would need some type of turnaround. So I'm just going to simulate to the offseason. And we uh, should be in a pretty good spot for like the number one overall pick. I'm not sure that we will have it. But we'll probably be in a pretty good spot for it. I would say probably within the top five as the Seahawks and Ravens battle the birds in the Super Bowl. 31-28. We finished 6-10. and 10. Dolphins finished 6-10. and 10. That's a little bit better than I would have wanted. I'm not going to lie. Joshua, appreciate the two-month resub, my guy. Uh, 27th defensive. Also, Undauntable, appreciate the five bits, or five dollars, man. Appreciate the donation. Sam Darnold, 28 touchdowns, nine picks. Could have been worse. Le'Veon Bell was actually not too bad. Denzel Mims had a really good season, I would say, all things considered. CJ Mosley. Not, not too bad of a season. That's pretty solid. You take that. 
two picks for Ashton Davis as well. We'll check out awards. 31st offense, by the way. Don't love that. Andrew Luck wins MVP with the Patriots because, of course, he did. Cam Newton on the Broncos. They went 9-7. and seven. Where am I looking? AFC, Offensive Player of the Year, Andrew Luck. Defense Player of the Year, Miles Garrett. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Justin Herbert. Denzel Mims at 6. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Devin Bush. People, like, have clowned me before. I think it was in the Raiders rebuild. I checked NFC. You guys don't understand. When I'm doing these, it gets so repetitive after a while that I zone out. And after I click the yearly awards, I see this screen. It kind of wipes the memory. I forget which team I'm doing a lot. And I have to think about it. Like, actually think about it. Oh, King Jose, I appreciate the 300 bits, man. So, I don't know what picks we're going to have. Probably both inside the top three at 6 and 10. Maybe not number one, though. Probably nobody in free agency. We don't have a ton of money anyways. Andrew Luck, I don't want. I don't. Yeah, there's no one I really want to sign in there. And uh, we will simulate to... I mean, is there a fifth-year option we'd have to pick up? I don't even know who it would be at this point. Luke with the 500 bits. Thank you, man. Some hype in the chat for Luke. And uh, we will go to the draft. Nobody worth picking up in free agency. We have not inside the top five or top three. Raiders at one, Lions, Panthers, Niners. We have three picks in a row. Raiders go. Panay Sewell, Lions, Gregory Rousseau. Panthers take Patrick Sertan, 49ers, Alex Leatherwood, Trevor Lawrence still on the board, O-Train with a tier one back for four months, thank you so much. Now this is a wide receiver in a corner spot, I think, we'd even take Marvin Wilson as well, that'd be kind of sick. Let's think about this, we have three picks in a row, five, six, seven, and then 15. I'm honestly feeling Jamar Chase for sure, by the way. Jamar Chase is my first pick. We're taking him. 76 overall, ranked number 8. Which, oof, a little low for Jamar Chase. He is a monster. Best receiver in the class right now for sure. 91 speed, decent route running, great catching. I mean, Jamar Chase is unbelievable. I think Joe Burrow is a great quarterback, don't get me wrong. But wow, was he in a great position to succeed with Jamar Chase, who was the best receiver on that LSU team last year. Justin Jefferson... And Terrace Marshall, really, really good group of receivers. Big O, thank you for the tier one back for six months. Not even to mention Randy Moss's son, Thaddeus, who had a pretty good year as well. But that's, I think, a lot of the, uh, due to him playing alongside three of the best receivers in college football. And then at, um, I mean, do we go Sean Wade here? I'm feeling Sean Wade. Let's go Sean Wade back to back. 76 overall, ranked number seven. We took him at number six. Of course, another reach. 92 speed, 82 man, 80 zone, 68 press, 59 tackle. Not too bad for Sean Wade. He'll come in and start immediately. 24, Revis Island. And then I don't know that I feel like spending the number seven overall pick. Um, could go tackle as well. Tackle wouldn't be the worst. Also could go safety. I think I might take tackle. I might be staring down Trey or Trey Smith or Sam Cosme at number 14. I think offensive line for sure. Dylan Moses not, might not be a bad decision as well, but I think I should trade this. Who had the first pick? Way to go. It went Raiders, 49ers, Panthers were in the top four. There was another team I'm missing. Raiders. Who had the second pick? I don't even know. King Jose, thank you for the 300 bits, man. Should have got Lawrence and got Darnold out of there. Maybe, maybe. Lions. Yeah, the Lions are always pretty bad. Let's make a move with the Lions for their first rounder next year. Well, they have Matt Stafford. He is regressing, though. We'll see if we can get it. They're going to want more for that pick, though. They're not. I'll take that trade straight up, though. Like, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Um... So we will simulate now to number 15. I liked each of our two first round picks. Here is Trevor Lawrence to the Patriots. Oh my goodness. 
Could go Jalen Waddle if we want to get a sick receiver, but I think we got to address offensive line. Sam Cosme doesn't look like anything special in this class, though. Could go center. Creed Humphrey looks really good in this class. Not that strong for Cade Mays. Mm, Cosby looks okay. I think I might even... We might go with Creed Humphrey. Lockdown center. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He is number six in the class. We took him at 15. Star or better development. I think that was actually probably the pick. We'll go tackle in like the next class. So Creed Humphrey to the rescue for offensive line as we uh, are building up the middle to left side. We're actually set there. The Seahawks, not surprisingly, take a running back they don't need. <laughs> Chuba Hubbard to Seattle. Brevin Jordan in the second round might be the move. We don't really need a tight end. I want to work with uh, with Chris Herndon, but he might have a good development trait, so that might be the move. King Jose, thank you so much for the tier one. For Leslie with the 70 bits, appreciate you guys as well. I mean, Herndon's up to a 77 overall. He's only 24. Getting another Miami tackle or tight end in there might not be too bad. We don't have to go receiver. We could go tackle as well, depending on who's in there. We need edge rusher pretty badly. I'd be cool with waiting on that. We drafted a corner. I think defensive tackle is kind of fine. Hmm. What's available here? We just got to uh, see our options. I mean, Rashad Bateman looks like he's okay. Devontae Smith looks okay. These guys look fairly unexceptional, if I'm honest. Kyle Pitts doesn't look too good in this class. How good is Brevin Jordan? He's okay. He's okay. Tough Borland, we've taken him somewhat recently. I don't really want to go in that direction. I don't know. What should we do here? What do you guys in the chat? What do you guys think we should do? Did I see a first round guy down the board? I maybe did. I can't tell. I looked at it quickly and then and then went away. I don't. No, I guess I guess I was just seeing things because I'm not seeing a first rounder now. Jacoby Stevens. I don't really know if that we need a safety in this class. And the CPU gen usually generates pretty good safeties. Justin Fields. Oh, that'd be interesting. I'm actually down for that. But I'm down for that. We're gonna take Justin Fields here. 73 overall star better development i know it's gonna be a weird pick for like oh we gotta we got sam darnold why would we do that we have options now star better development something to mold and work with here i don't mind justin fields in the second round i feel like that's that's a fine pick because sam darnold's maybe a little bit of a question mark hasn't had a lot to work with but we got to approach this like we're the new gm in madden justin fields to the jets king jose thank you for the 300 bits you wanted the classic trade down? Is what it is. This might be the trade down spot. Depending on what's here. Although, Mustafa Johnson looks okay. We'll take him. 72 overall, only normal development. A little bit of a reach here. Had the 69th pick in the draft. Nice. Nice. Got a low 69 overall in the draft. But um, we will go ahead and simulate to the fourth round and probably trade down. Or, like, trade the rest of our picks away. This is not really a great spot. Jesse, thank you so much for the tier one sub, man. I love you. Four, five, six. In the uh, user-generated classes, there's, there's nothing there. Uh, bills are always pretty good. Let's go. The Titans usually don't win a ton of games. Sometimes they do. I don't know. That pick might be a little bit tough to get. Let's see if we can get a third for all that. I'd take that all day. Boom. Trade is done. We got to speed this up a little bit, you know? I don't want to take up a ton of your guys. I know this, this is going to be a long video regardless. It's already 30 minutes long. And we're just getting into the second season. So, with respect for your time, I'm going to try to move this along a little bit going faster than I normally might. But uh, Sam Darnold's going to stay our starter. The offensive line actually doesn't look too, too bad right now. Jamar Chase is going to play a lot. Who's our third receiver? Rashad Perriman? 
I'd be okay with that. And then defensively, Sean Wade's obviously going to get in there. Brian Poole got superstar development. Interesting. Why? Why? I don't know. Quinn Williams also got superstar development. Another one where I'm, where I'm wondering why. Did he have that? Where did superstar development come from for him? I guess he was, his development trait was unshown. I guess he started with Superstar. Okay, that would make sense. Uh, Brashad, Perriman. I don't know why I say that. Bryce Hall is going to be our third corner. Um, Shepard's going to move to actually being a defensive tackle. I mean, he's 315 pounds. I know it's a 3-4, so he's basically in the same uh, position. Even if it's not the same role, he wouldn't be playing over the... Uh, over the center. Now he becomes a nose tackle. Are Avery Williamson and CJ Mosley regressing? A little bit. Might be worth considering trading them at some point. Jamar Chase in the slot. That's perfect. We need some legit pass rushers though because we don't really we don't really have that right now. Trayvon West go in there. But this is going to be the team for season number two. I'm going to spend some of my coach XP. The question is, what position do I spend it on? Incre there it is. Increased player weekly goal XP. And then drafted a rookie DB. So we'll spend that on DB XP for free. A lot of rhyming action there. Also, almost 700 viewers in the chat right now. <laughs> Very cool. And um, we'll simulate to the midseason mark. And um, see where we are in that. How's everybody doing in the chat? How y'all doing? I'm doing not that great. We're two and five. <laughs> Bills are five and two. It might be time to change the, the offensive and defensive playbooks. That might be what time it is. Because those matter, oh, far too much in simulation. Get out of the 3-4. 3-4, well, we're 32nd right now. 3-4 defenses are fairly good in general. And we're set up for a 3-4. I don't know that I want to change to a 4-3. Also, Sean Wade, superstar development. Creed Humphrey, superstar development. But Jamar Chase only has star? What is this guy seeing with Jamar Chase that everybody else isn't? Interesting. Jamar Chase should have superstar. I would be cool with like swipping or flipping Sean Wade or switching Sean Wade and uh, Jamar Chase. I mean, what would we do here? I like Nathan Shepard getting playing time. We're going to switch to a 3-4. We're just going to change. We're just going to change uh, the playbook. I think Denver Denver and Green Bay usually aren't too bad. We'll try Denver this time around. And then um, what's a good offensive playbook? What's going on, Drewski? I, the scheme doesn't matter. That doesn't change. Only the playbook matters. The scheme is only for XP. Just so you guys know. I'm just going to do a random one. We got to try more. What have I not done in a while? Let's do Chargers. I haven't done the Chargers in forever. We'll see how that works. We'll try Chargers. And um, we will we'll upgrade the squadron. <laughs> Long time no see, Attica. Two and five. Not ideal right now. Avery Williamson is an impending free agent. So probably should have stopped before the deadline to see if I wanted to move anybody. He would have been someone I would have wanted to move. Wow, our edge rushers are all leaving. We got a lot of guys going to free agency. Thankfully, it's no one that good. But they're guys that are tough decisions. I mean, Marcus May is already 27. Do I really want Avery Williamson on a four-year deal? No, I don't. 
I don't really want him at all. This is a franchise tag situation if he doesn't want to accept a three-year deal, which he won't want to. Scribs gifting a, a tier one to Attica. Thank you so much, Scribs. Shoot. He's not, he's not going to accept this. I'm not giving you a four-year contract. You're 28. Marcus May is going to want years as well. I want to give him three. But he's not going to want three. He, he took three. I'll, I'll take that. Love that. Brian Winters I don't want. Jordan Jenkins I really don't want. Jordan Willis at 25. I can do something there. He's actually pretty cheap. Can I give you can I give you three years though? Nah, he see he wants longer duration and more money. Jordan Jenkins, I would like. He, he wants more money. Why does Jordan Willis want significantly less money? J Bus gifting 20 subs! Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's going on, J Bus? Um Dude, I don't really want any of these guys. I would rather just, like, wait until the draft and then make decisions then. So, I think Avery Williamson's going to be a tag-and-trade type situation. And then J-Bus, man, that is insanity. Thank you so much, my guy. And we are 6-10 and 10 again. Has our offense improved at all? We are better the second half. 17th now, for sure. Darnold wasn't too bad. 30-second defense. It, it might be 4 3 time, boys. Yeah, J-Bus, it seems like Canely's going to want to get involved more and more often. So I would be in on that. He'd be a cool friend to have. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, almost 1,200 yards, 11 TDs. He did pretty well. Jamar Chase balled out. That's got to be an increase in superstar development. 11, 61 yards, 12 touchdowns. What happened with Canely is uh, I was live last night. If you guys don't know Tommy Canely, reliever for the Yankees, if you guys are baseball fans, pretty good. But uh, he streams on Twitch, and we've actually become fairly acquainted. And uh, he was on stream last night. We were shooting the shit with all the boys. It was a fun time. It really was. It seems crazy because, like, I mean, growing up being a fan of, like, all these athletes, uh, and then, like, now I'm in a position where I can actually, like, be acquainted with these guys, it's insane to me. But, uh, yeah, Tommy Canely, I mean, like, reliever for the Yankees, and we're talking on Discord, hanging out, playing games. I mean, wild. Uh, no Jetson here for Offensive Player of the Year. But for Defensive Player of the Year, CJ Mosley at three. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Trevor Lawrence with the Patriots. Jamar Chase at two. That's unfortunate. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Tough Borland. Sean Wade at seven. Show me best receiver, Jamar Chase. No. Oh, my goodness. We might not get a development trade upgrade. Yeah, he was drinking too. So he was saying some fun stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah, even about Darius Geis. <laughs> Man, that was I forgot about that. That's funny. Um, we'll do LB training boost there. And development traits won't change until the Super Bowl, so we'll just go to uh, the off season. I still want to, uh, I still want to tag and trade Avery Williamson. It was Eagles Cowboys in the Super Bowl. That's interesting. Nope, that's not the Cowboys. Eagles. I mean, like, do you even? This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes when you're like the recording zone, like, you just say the wrong thing, and it's like clearly I know that's not the Cowboys. That's the that's the Browns, and I caught myself saying that, insane that I said that, but um. That's we're up to 884 subs, by the way. You just kind of, you zone out and you go on autopilot and like, you just say the wrong thing. I clearly know the Cowboys logo isn't a brown helmet and they play in the same division as the Eagles. It is what it is. Avery Williamson, how about this? And he's like, no, I don't wanna. Uh, well, it's too bad because you're a franchise tag. And he's like, sick, now I get a ton of money, but it's not gonna last. Brian Winter's gone, Jordan Willis, I actually do want. He wanted a longer deal, but he's cheap, though. I would sign him for five. Up the bonus. Boom. Jordan Willis. Back. Yeah, Drew brings up a good point. Who we drafting? 
who are we drafting and what position that's the that's the bigger question it's not who are we drafting just yet the question right now is what position are we drafting and who could fill that role now we need a lot of help on the edge oh jamar chase got superstar let's go gotta love that gotta love that i didn't think he was going to i thought he was gonna miss out but receiving core is starting to look pretty nice we need a right guard and a right tackle clearly and then defensively cj mosley got superstar oh this is what you like to see this is what you like to see boys uh also is it four three time it probably is just because i don't know three fours it seems to be hit or miss i think darnold's gotta go bow, bow. four six what's the best for i mean dallas is always really good Cincinnati is always really good. 4-3 just runs better. Darnold is about as exciting as a wet blanket. Man. <laughs> what do you think? Justin Fields is more exciting? A dual threat beast than Sam Darnold? <laughs> Who gets mono? At what, 23? 24 now. Might have even been 22. Um, so 4-3... I mean, Tewitt and Quinn Williams are both going to slide inside. Nice. That's what she said. Uh, we're going to move them to defensive tackle. Quinn Williams as well. Nah, Darnold, Darnold's going to stay. Darnold's going to stay for now. Tewitt goes up to a 90 at defensive tackle. Quinn Williams might even go up as well. You got mono at 22? That makes sense, Drew, because you're such a wily little guy. <laughs> I was in your more wild days, I'm sure, before you got locked down. Quinn Williams, 84. So now we need edge rushers. Jordan Willis, I hate to say it, he just looks bug-eyed. It is what it is. I'll make him left end. Everyone's giving me shit for making fun of him for having mono. I gotta get something on him, alright? He's an NFL quarterback at basically the same age as me. It's like, what, two years older than me? A year older. It is what it is. Avery Williamson's going to move outside and get traded. That's probably going to happen during the draft. Yeah, Mono's debilitating. My roommate had it uh, freshman year. Well, he's not my roommate anymore, but we were at the time. Avery Williams, 87 overall. Blake Cashman going to move outside. We don't even need to draft an off-the-ball linebacker. You wish Madden would make an edge position? They kind of have. I know there's a focus for them a few years ago. That's why I added specialists. So, rush right end and rush left end is edge. So, there's no real reason for them to add a specification. Because they've already changed it. Um, I mean, he's an 87 overall. He's just going to regress. And so is C.J. Mosley, but he's playing on a one-year deal. Star development. It's I think the move is to trade him. So we need edge rusher pretty bad. I mean, but look at Jordan Willis, dude. Just, I don't know what it is, but he just... You know what it is? It looks like uh, his eyeballs are so big, and they're just the same color. <laughs> looks like he's wearing like those all-black contacts. He looks like a bug. I'm sorry. Could he kick my ass? Yeah, tell me in the comments. Yeah, but you, you bug-eyed, but he could kick your ass. I know. Let's get Allen Robinson. He's someone who's almost never in here. King Jose, thank you for the 200 bits. Your dad and your brother had mono on Father's Day? Yeah, I hope that was unrelated. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I guess your, your brother probably gave your dad a very special Father's Day, it sounds like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See if we can get Allen Robinson. That'd be a sick receiving core. Ooh, Ibukam would be wasted in a 4-3. Rankins, we don't need either. David Njoku, we don't... I mean, he's definitely better than Herndon. If we can get him for free, I mean, I might as well. Might as well. When I say free, I mean, like, for a steal of a price. 56 total points might not be enough. Zach Cunningham's... 
Ooh, Kenneth Murray's here. He shouldn't be, but he is, so why not take advantage of that and offer him a contract? He's cheap, all things considered. And also, we'd be stealing him from the Patriots. Yeah, somebody play Sweet Home Alabama for that. <laughs> all right, we got Kenneth Murray and Allen Robinson. So the offense continues to improve. We're set at receiver now. And he has superstar X Factor. Oh, you love to see that. I maybe knew that. But I didn't I wasn't really looking. Offense is looking unreal. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bengal, you have three of the same type of receiver. They're all X's. All outside main number one guys. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's Madden. And then defensively. Who did I sign? I forgot. I don't even remember. Oh, Kenneth Murray. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just go brain dead. I just read it out loud, and then I'm trying to think about it. I'm like, I didn't even have a guess. I didn't even know what position. I looked all around. I, well, I figured it out, clearly, but... All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. What else is in free agency? 21 mil essentially to spend as we're going to crack open a Modelo here still going after Najoku might be the move yeah let's get I don't want Tim Williams I don't want Nathan Jerry or Gary Caleb on chase on's in here I just don't really have an interest in him with normal development at age 22 that's a great age, but no. Ross Blacklock. Offensive line. Oh, Cesar Ruiz is the move. Of course, every offensive lineman of this past draft class is going to be here because it's broken. But yeah, Cesar Ruiz would be a big get for us. He's a little bit expensive, actually. So no, I'm not going to do that. That'd be a good get as a player, but like, we just can't can't deal it. He'll give us five subs if we get... Oh, we got to even a Joku for cheap. If you draft an 80-plus, you'll get five subs. Well, I can tell you it won't happen. Who am I signing? Sam Darnold? Uh, we'll pick up his fifth here. Whatever. King Jose, I appreciate the uh, 200 more biddies. Thank you. What does Modelo taste like? Like the first taste. I, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. All right, we pick a number five. Let's review the draft class first. A lot of QBs in here, which actually could work to our benefit since we don't really need one. Uh, Dewan Kershaw, maybe a relative of Clayton. Looked like they could be related. Tremaine Sandridge. He looks pretty good. He'd be a nice secondary option to Le'Veon Bell. We're going to look at him. Ranch Salad with the Tier 1. Damn, I, I haven't had that in forever. But I uh, appreciate that Tier 1 sub. We don't need receiver. Baller. Skip the combines. Hey, Roger Goodell. How about you suck my nutsack, pussy? Uh, man, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Jared Kincaid looks a little bit better, though. And in the third round, we don't really need him. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. Patrick Hamilton, a lot of reps on the bench. We'll check him out. We don't need a center, but there look to be some good ones here. They are pretty good. Darren Harold, not a bad option for the fourth round. Right tackle. I mean, Jamison Mann looks to be pretty good. I'll consider that. We need edge rushers, though. We need edge rushers bad. Paul Acosta, which is basically Paulo Acosta, who's an MMA fighter, <laughs> is here. We'll look at him. Lindell Montgomery's a one-trick pony. Can only rush the passer. Keenan Bird. Not a bad choice for the third round. Bird in the third. Don't need a defensive tackle. Decent. Team needs are overrated. Real men draft best available. There's actually, like, in all seriousness, there is a fair argument to that about drafting best available. 
over your team need because your team need is only your team need at the time. I know this sounds odd, uh, it, but like contracts and sh will change, free agency it can happen. Obviously, like there's there's a fair argument to drafting just over like the best player if there's a significant enough gap. Stefan Edwards out of Iowa looks really really good. We can move him to safety. Javante Jones, a little slow. A little slow. Samuel Bigby, a little slow. But third round, that'd be good value. Gilbert Tate. What a boring name. He's fast enough and big. Alfonso Merriman. Or Merriam, excuse me. He looks good. He's he's like more of a nickel cornerback looking player. He, with his speed and his profile. There's maybe something there. So what would my what would my list go? We don't there's not really any amazing edge rusher in this class. And there usually isn't. Trade Avery Williamson? Yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely thinking about it. I'm just trying to figure out like what we're gonna draft here. I don't really know. I think it might have to be offensive line. Which is like somewhat boring. And we might not have any of the players we want available at 5 or 8. I think Stefan Edwards and Jamison Mann might be my picks. But I definitely don't need to take them at 5 and 8. Patrick Hamilton maybe even looks like a better tackle overall just because of his top skills. So we pick at 5, 8, and 12. If we don't have our player available at number 5... We're just going to move down from that pick or trade that for an established edge rusher. As the Giants, for the first time in 100 years, take a linebacker in the first round. And all the players we were wanting are gone at five, as predicted, which is fine. Stefan Edwards is amazing. He's who I want, but probably eight. King Jose gifting out five tier ones. Let's go, King Jose. Thank you so much. Hmm. We're going to move down from five and then take him probably at eight just to make sure he doesn't get away. But what I will do is probably package number five, Avery Williamson, and maybe maybe something else for Khalil Mack. I think that's going to be... Oh, they don't want him. No quiero. No, no quieres. Bills don't really have anyone I want. I want an established edge rusher. Cardinals, we could get Chandler Jones. He's not going to be that good, though. 88, I'm out. One of the Boses. Go for uh, Joey here. Although, I doubt they're going to pass uh, pass him over to us. Yeah, no shot. How much for me to shotgun a Modelo? I'm recording for a video, Drew. Could get Derwin James. I'd be in on that. Ooh. That'd be so sick. I just don't think we can make this happen. I don't think we can swing this. And I don't even know if it would be worth it to do this either. I don't think it is. Let's, we got to make the smart move and move on. Read Nate's chat. You made the finals? Whew. Congratulations. No, you can ask the boys in the call. I was rooting for you, man. That is elite. That is elite stuff. I actually had a, uh, I had a tab open for you. I kind of got distracted. Um, there's no one on the Chiefs that I particularly want. Dolphins are are not going to have anyone. Uh, Eagles are not. Falcons are not. 49ers. Nick Bost is going to be off limits. My record? Dude, why are you saying that the dude is so bad and that like even my record's better than his? What is it? What are, what are you saying there? Oh, we can get Nick Bosa. We could definitely get Nick Bosa. Is there a good third corner I have to move? Plus on Austin is not, but yeah. Uh, it might be a player away. Is this the Nathan Shepard spot? It might be. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to Nick Bosa. I don't really have a right guard to trade them. That was kind of going to be drafted here. 
I don't have a defensive tackle. I'm not trading Makai Becton. I'm not trading David DeCastro. So it would have to be another pick. Oh, it, we're so close. It's going to have to be number 12. Or a first runner next year. This is going to get it done for Nick Bosa. Exceed the... <laughs> They're going to exceed the salary cap. Give me, give me Daniel Helm. Still? I mean, you're killing me, game. Xavier Williams and Greg Ward, they're going to be like, mm, we don't, we're not interested. Yeah, I mean, you pieces of shit. I mean, un unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's just not going to work. King Jose, appreciate the 300 biddies. You're right. Darnold, they don't need a quarterback. There's no, it wouldn't make any sense. It's a salary cap issue at this point. And we're not going to be able to make this work for money. We're just not going to be able to make it work. Damn. That's so annoying. You guys don't understand. Like, we, there's there's no trade we're going to be able to make. Um, unless, like, somehow we were able to get Western Richburg involved. But that, that'd be how we get it done. But we'd have to give up so much value to make this happen to make it work. Because... I don't really want to give up number 12, and I don't think they're going to do anything less. I do have number 8 to give as well. I, I don't really want to do that. So I can't, I just can't do that. I know it's because the team's over the salary cap. I said that. The Giants aren't going to have anybody. Well, okay. Might be able to do something for the kicker. That, that That's not a terrible idea. They don't have any kicker. And their Mitch Wyshnowski does not have any type of large contract. Try for Chase Young. That's an interesting thought. He's going to have normal development, though. So, I'm out. Jags are not going to have anybody. Lions, maybe. <sighs> I'm out on Trey Flowers. I want a stud. Brian Burns is not an acquirable player. Okay. I want Brian Burns. They never want to trade me Brian Burns. He's harder to trade for than Khalil Mack. He just is. And Gakwe? Is he still going to be on the Jaguars? Oh, he is. Only 86 overall. I can get somebody better. That's the thing. Uh, Aaron Donald doesn't really make sense. Ravens don't have anybody... I'll see Chase Young. He's not going to have good development, though. He's going to be lower overall. It just doesn't make sense. Saints, Cam Jordan's too old. Can't do him. Seahawks, no. TJ Watt, but they're not going to want to trade him. Devin Bush would be interesting. Texans... This could be it here. J.J. Watt. Yeah, J.J. Watt's going to be my guy. And I don't even know I have to give up number five to get it, or Avery Williamson to get him. I mean, I could just... I, I don't know if I could hold that pick. They just might accept this. Bring Jamal back? No. Yeah, we can get J.J. Watt. And J.J. Watt, he's 32, but he's also a 96 overall. He'll be fine. So we'll move... Uh, a third and a fourth. Why not? I'm going to be over the cap? No. What do you think? He's getting paid $50 million a year? What are you, out of your mind? All right. J.J. Watt's on the team now. He is certainly a fantastic addition to our team. We still need another. I don't know why Stefan Tuitt is doing blue steel. I feel like I say that every time, but, like, look at him. We can still trade number five. I mean... Why not make it unrealistic and as stupid as possible and get another huge contract in Khalil Mack? We're actually, you know what? We're going to keep Fields and trade Darnold. Sue me. Cry. Sam Darnold. 
And a fit and number five overall pick for Khalil Mack. Be mad. Be mad. I'm cool with it. Dude, he wasn't he wasn't winning anything for us. It's Justin Fields team now. We're taking Edwards. 78, number one in the in the draft. As I said, 80 overall was not possible. We got the number one player in the entire draft, though. 6-2, great zone coverage. Good tackling. Block shot's a bit low. Good hit power. Well, decent. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? 6-2-205. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think you know. That's my free safety of the future. That's my free safety of the future. Stefan Edwards. Mm, and I think I'm going to take this tackle at 12. Patrick Hamilton. Welcome to the team. Number 5, 77 overall star or better development. Took him at number 12. 92 strength, 76 run block, 79 pass block. Beast. Like that. Love that. Want some more of that. Shout out Tim McGraw. What's the move now, though? We still need a guard. Oh, could take that halfback. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Tremaine Sanders at a Utah State. 77 overall. Ranked number four in the class. We took him at 40. Only normal development. But he is a receiving back, and he looks pretty solid. Will be a nice backup to Le'Veon Bell here in the second round. So what do we get? We have three of the top five... Uh, Players in the draft right now. Not too bad. Backup QB. Mm, no. They don't look good enough. Now, what else do we take here? We could go with the safety. And just keep that guy at corner. I mean, although Alfonso Merriam looks more like a slot corner than a safety. So maybe he would be the pick here. I know we do need a guard. He might be available in the third. We don't really need a tight end. We also could move back up for him. He'd be a decent backup. I'm going to take the safety, I think, and continue to improve our secondary. I think that's the move. Even if people disagree with me, I think that's the move. Keenan Bird is just not good enough. Oh, man, not the expert. Big old Drewski gifting out 10 tier ones. Drew, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. If you guys don't know Not the Expert, you do. But if you don't, check him out. And it said, because we traded Darnold, I would do it all again. Number seven in the class. Took him at 47. Star, better development. 88 speed. 71 zone. 76, man, that's a corner. I knew it. 80 hit power. Lower block shed. Good awareness. Alfonso Merriam is a nickel corner. We are up to 899 subs. Whew. Inching back towards 1,000. Thank you so much again, Drew. And round three. I should have traded back up. Oh, my, my guard is still there. Darren Harold. Only a 71 overall. Ranked number 25. We took him at 72. He's okay. I mean, he can come in and start, but he's not that good. Oh, my goodness. And Drew coming back, giving another sub to get us to that nice round number of 900. Thank you so much, man. And then O-Train gifting one as well. I got to keep updating this. 901. Thank you so much, O-Train, as well. I appreciate you, boy. I feel like it's bad that I'm calling people boy. Really, it's not not good. <laughs> it's a bad habit to get into. What else is even in here? No one, no one else is even okay. Sean Buchanan. Sure. What a draft for us. We did actually really, really well. Oh, and Lugazi with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much.
Have no kicker? I'll sign one. Ugh. No kicker. Oh no. And when have you ever seen me draft a kicker? King Jose, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub as well. And goes to Brian. Philip Lindsay in there. Take a kicker. Mason Crot. No. Let's see it. Oh, Fat Randy's here? Say less. Say less. I have no cap room. That's why I traded Darnold partly, by the way, as well. Is so that uh, I would get rid of his contract. We have Justin Fields now. I don't know. It was a, it was a lateral move. So we're going to rationalize that. Team looks pretty solid, though. We're going to change around the positions a little bit to make it work a little bit more. Khalil Mack going to go play right end. <laughs> yeah, drop a hundred gifted for the memes, J Bus. What do you don't you don't like memes? <laughs> I don't I don't understand how that makes sense, but I'm with it. Um okay, so Edwards as yeah, he's a seventy eight overall free safety as well. <laughs> Fat Randy back in green. Abusive fruit roll with the tier one. Thank you. Get some hype in the chat for abusive fruit roll. I don't even know what that means. 78 overall for Stefan Edwards. And then what did I say? Merriam was going to go play corner. We have Bryce Hall, but also... Uh, and excuse my French. Who gives a heck, dude? Who gives a frig? <laughs> we get Tommy Canely to say go screw. It's a done deal. It's the only thing I can do that now. Merriam's going to be our... Uh, third corner behind Sean Wade and Brian Poole. Brian Poole, this is his last year to develop. So we got we to do it here. Blue Steel from Stefan to it with uh, Zoolander here is like, it's that look freaks me out every time. Dude, Drew, I'm in. I'm in. Throw money at me like an Ethot. I'm, dude, you want me to twerk for you guys? Because that's not going to happen ever. I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, Edwards is going to go... No, Merriam's going to go in the slot. Um, and if... It's just not going to happen. Um, I mean, Watt's going to be a rush end, so... We're not going to have him on the inside. That's no good. Um... King Jose, thank you for the 300 biddies, man. King Jose, underrated, man. This guy's been... He's been balling out tonight. Let's go rush right end. Yeah, Jordan Willis. Why don't you replace you with Khalil... Or JJ Watt. Khalil Max on the left side. Sub linebacker, CJ Mosley. This team's actually really good. Chicken shut. Back for two months with the tier one. Don't say that, JJ. <laughs> oh, Train, thank you for the bits, man. Um, this is Justin Fields' team now. It's time to take over. It's time to take over. I like it. I mean, pretty good team. The only one real hole is right guard. And that's not even that bad. Do we have a right tackle? Is Hamilton a right tackle? He's not. That might even increase our team overall a little bit more. Not that that matters, but... I had to regulate. I, you guys can't hear the song, so you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you know what song that is, shout out to you. Luke, appreciate the 300 bits, man. I'm going to stream more Madden after seeing these views. Negative. Don't care about the views. I stream for fun. All right, let's simulate to the midseason mark. See what this team's doing. On YouTube, I care about the views. On, uh, ooh, Lump Chicken out here with Fight Night already. Knows it. Good call. Good call. <laughs> J-Bus, too. Later, Drew. Thanks for hanging out, man. Five and two at the midseason mark. J.J. Watt is an impending free agent. The Dolphins are six and one. The Bills are five and three. Pat's not doing so hot. And we're going to be tight for money, my guys. Oh, no. These are a lot of free agents. J.J. Watt wants 20 mil. I'm just going to extend it to five years. 
He needs he needs more money. Are you high? Maybe Giants. Appreciate the two hundred bits. Trade for the beast. Oli Sayamaka Udo. Who in the world? Damn, this is a huge contract for David DeCastro. He comes back though. Brian Poole, I don't know that we need, honestly. Shepard, we don't need. Scribs gifting 20 subs. Oh my goodness. W Scribs gifting out 20. Well, formerly W Scribs. Just Scribs now. The man formerly known as W Scribs. 20 sub. And then J Bus matches it instantly. 20 subs. Oh my goodness. Yo, here's, here's the move. Scribs and JBus both put your favorite emote in the chat, and the subs are going to spam both of them in the same message. That's the move. That's the move. If you guys aren't... If you guys are watching on YouTube and you have no idea what's going on, it's a Twitch thing. It's a Twitch thing. Gotta be here. Also, Edwards only has star. Merriam only has star. Offensively, Hamilton only has star. Hate to see that. OG Hale gifted out five as well. We're going crazy right now, boys. I appreciate it more than you know. I really, really do. Thank you so much. As we push towards a thousand subscribers, that would be unreal to hit that tonight. That'd be unreal. 951 right now. 951. I mean, that's just jumped up like crazy. You guys are insane. I love you guys. I really do. And then Jason gifting out one as well. Jason, thank you so much. We're going to worry about Brian Poole here in a minute. We're going to simulate to the playoffs. Ranch Salad even gifted one out. Everyone's getting involved. What is this sub train at? Or do we have a hype train or, or something going on? I don't even know, Twitch. But I, I like it. I, whatever's happening, I like it right now. Jake Feather Dumps gifting out 25 for the first round buy. 23 subs. What is going on? Jake Feather Dumps. As we have the third best offense in the league under the new quarterback, Justin Fields. And the best defense in the NFL. Jake, 25 subs. Oh my goodness. Scribs and J-Bus with 20 each is insane. And then Jake comes and does even more with 25. Unbelievable. And then rather gifting 10. You guys are insane. Justin Fields didn't even do anything, by the way. The Nightwolf with the tier 1. Thank you so much, Nightwolf. Rather... Feather dumps. I appreciate you. Le'Veon Bell with a great year. 1,273 yards, 9 touchdowns. How do we have such a great offense? Najoku with 8 touchdowns. Allen Robinson with 8 touchdowns. We didn't do anything that crazy. Half-court Henry gifting out a sub as well. Oh my goodness. We are almost to... We're like... We're at 1K. Or 100 almost. But Dank gifting out 5 as well. What are we at? I better say... what? Well, yeah, 1K. Oh my goodness. CJ Mosley with a very, very solid year. 16 and a half sacks for Khalil Mack. The sack attack, a sack attack from the green and black on occasion. TJ gifting out a sub. Rather die alone gifting out three. What are we at right now? 9.99. 9.99. Oh my goodness. Kenneth Murray. What a year. What a year. Yearly awards, Darnold wins MVP with the Bears. I don't want to hear it. Listen, 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 listen. That was never going to happen here. That was never going to happen with the Jets. Badank gifting out a sub. J Bus gifting a sub as well. We're at 1,001. You guys are insane. And then King Jose gifting 10. Jets fan gifting 1. Oh my goodness, King Jose gifting 10! What is happening? O-Train gifting 1, Jay Wizzle back for 18 months! Says, let's go! Sorry for YouTube video watching this, you don't know what's going on, but you can see in the bottom right how many notifications you're getting. No Jets for MVP. Jets fan, back for 8 months. What the fuck, Bangles should have kept Darnold. I feel that. Up to 1,024. Scribs gifting out 10, 1,034. Oh my god, Scribs. You guys are absolutely insane. Lamar Jackson wins Offensive Player of the Year. Justin Fields at 2. Whoa, did, did I miss him for MVP? I totally did. He was at 8. Um, defense Player of the Year, Khalil Mack. Love that. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Tremaine Sandridge, our backup running back. 
Defensive Rookie of the Year, Alfonso Merriam as their slot corner. Seven Edwards at two. You guys are insane. You guys are wild. You've made my night by a lot. I mean, I really do love you guys. I don't say it enough. I try to. I mean, I say it a lot, but I. I don't. I could never say it enough. You know. You guys are insane. And then Advil Robitussin gifting out a tier one. Thank you so much, Advil. That sounds like an ad spot. That's, I don't like that. <laughs> that sounds like I'm sponsored by Advil. 13 3, we get the Dolphins in the divisional. My goodness. Scribs ticked out RBT. I love it. Top gifter on the channel is J Bus. J, J Beast, more like. This is the team, by the way. Jamar Chase is becoming a beast. Allen Robinson's casually a 95. This team is so sick. I mean, look at our defensive line. <laughs> look at our defensive line. All right, let's simulate past the Dolphins. Por favor. We beat them. 45-22. The offense is cracked. And now we have Jets Colts. Super Bowl three rematch. This was the guarantee. Super Bowl three, right? I want to say it was Super Bowl three for sure. Joe Namath guaranteed a victory over the Colts, and I'm guaranteeing a victory over the Colts here in 2021. Fuck. Broadway Bengal is not a thing. It is. It was. It looks. What it looks like. Oh, no. <laughs> we get Tremaine Sandbridge up there. Sand, whatever his fucking name is. Fuck the Colts, dude. Do we get any uh, development upgrades? Uh, not that I can see. None on offense. And then defensively, none that I can see again. Really? Dude, Merriam wins Defensive Rookie of the Year and is just chilling at star development? Let me tell you something. That, 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 that right there is bullshit. That's ridiculous. I love you too, rather. Let's get JJ Watt back. We'll do another year for sure. We're an hour and 21. That's a pretty good time. We're making pretty good pace. JJ Watts up. What does he want? He wants a higher salary. Let me turn down the bonus. Fuck it. Only by like nothing. And JJ Watt resigns. Do we want Brian Poole back? I think so. He were 10 million. I mean, fuck. Brian Poole is back. Herndon, we don't need. Perriman, we don't need. We do need a punter, but we don't need to sign him here. Shepard, we don't need. Barrios, we don't need. We don't need any of these guys. But thank you guys so much for all the subs tonight. It's been uh, wild. We got to get a Super Bowl here in year three. Teron Armstead's here? We won't be able to afford him. Not a drunk alcoholic. Yeah, if, if you say so. With the tier one, thank you so much. Do we even need anything? I feel like it is not a good decision to sign anybody. Marcus May is regressing. He's down to 81. I need a kicker and a punter, right? Yeah. No star development, so I guess we just get Joey Sly. Seven years. Turn down the money. Also, low-key want to be done with this rebuild so you guys can hear my music because I'm I'm jamming out right now. You should be able to get Joey Sly. 69 total points by accident. Nice. It's never by accident. I just have a feel for the 69. We got both of them. Joey Sly and J.K. Scott. Fuck it. Draft time, baby. Do we have picks? I think we do. I think we do have picks. Number 30, though. That's not where we want to be. 
Rashad Anderson. I like what I'm seeing. How do we acquire? We don't. Let's okay. Let's think about this. What do we actually even need? Obviously, we need a uh, development. Justin Fields up to an 83. Gotta love that. Is that morale based? A little bit. We got receivers, kind of. Could use a fourth, but not really. We need a right guard, but not that much. We could use, honestly, we could use a safety. But we could just move Merriam to safety. And then Hall could stay at corner. So we don't really even need that. Will Hardly gift in a sub. Hey, thanks, Will. We could use an outside linebacker. Or someone to play off the ball. It's like just a linebacker in general. Daquan Drake. A minus is his last. He might have a development trait. Daquan Drake is going to be our, our guy. Question is, how do we move up for him? Oh my goodness, Lamarcus Nobles looks really good. I'll watch him, even though we likely won't have a shot to get him. Look at all these cornerbacks. They look amazing. Daniel Morris. Will Hartley back for two months. Currently on a one-month streak. Welcome back, Will. Appreciate you, man. And we had a ball or two. How do you expect me to make these decisions? How do you expect me to make these decisions? Tim Northern. As opposed to Tim Southern. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where's he from? Temple. That's the northern part of the U.S. Philadelphia. Glenn Jupin. Ugh. I, there's something about that name I hate. Uh, Philip Slack. Decent tackle prospect there. He looks actually really good. Center in the fourth. Don't mind that. Bud Roll. Eh. Damn, a lot of good tackle guys. Abdul Robertson, but Marquise Clark looks amazing. John Hill looks maybe even better. Ron Wolfolk. Cool sub only off. I mean, it's basically on already with all the subs that we have. But yeah, you can do that if you want. King Jose, appreciate the 500 biddies. Classic Bengal followback. Is that a classic move of mine? I don't know, man. I feel like that sets a bad precedent. If you if you donate a certain amount, I'll follow you back. I feel like followbacks are something I do over time anyway, to like supporters and mods and stuff. So I don't know. <laughs> look at look at the mod the non subs back. I guess not everybody is a sub. But that that is funny. Play Last of Us too. Someone says bitch. Hey, fuck you. Like the fuck. Tough tough day at middle school for you. Um, all right. I want this middle linebacker. I gotta trade up inside the, like the top three to get him though. If he goes to number two, he's just gone. There he goes. 76, that's not even too bad. We'll simulate to 30 and we'll figure it out. I don't need to trade up for anything. We got a pretty good team. But we're at over 1,051 subs. I thought it, maybe. No, that's sub points. We're at 138. My bad. 1,038. Uh, what is here? Oh, there goes Philip Slack. He, he looks so good. Ellis Busey. I wonder if he's related to Gary Busey. Looks pretty good, actually. Looks really good. We don't need him, that's for sure. Rico Anthony. I'm interested. But John Hill is going to be my pick. Just looks like he's so good. 76 overall. Only normal development. Number 6 in the class. Took him at 30. Mr. Kieran. Or Karen. Gifting a tier 1 sub. Thank you so much, Mr. I don't know what it is, Scribs. I haven't seen your, uh... I'll follow you back on Twitter. I don't know what it is. Just tweet at me. King Jose with the 60 bits. Thank you. Is Are you happy, JBus, that we have non-sub only on? Is, it, is this better? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> um, let's see. Sean Beck's the easy pick here. 72 overall, but we're going to simulate to the end now. I've had to go to the bathroom for a while, but obviously if I'm recording, I could just cut this out, I suppose. Okay, so the draft just happened. Did we draft anyone worth using? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Actually, you know what? We did draft a tackle. Was he good? Is he going to be better at guard? Maybe slightly. 6'5", 3'11", and he's agile. He could probably work at right guard, honestly. So, we might actually have something there. I like that. 77 overall. We're good to go, baby. Uh, defensively. Didn't really draft any linebackers we can use, but the defensive line's still good. Specialist, I got to move J.J. Watt back to right end. I knew that was going to happen. Why would Kenneth Murray ever be a rush defensive end? I have no idea. Not a bad pass rusher in real life, to be fair, but in the game, it doesn't really make a ton of sense. It, at least in my opinion. At least in my opinion. And uh, we'll move to what, rush to defensive tackle first. Switch those two fine gentlemen. Kulamak, rush right end, and then rush, or rush left end. Rush right end, of course. JJ Watt. You guys like that? And uh, we should be pretty much good to uh, win the Super Bowl here. I mean, I don't see any other conclusion. I don't see any other way this goes down than miserable failure, actually. Let me, let me take that back. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, you know? And then I think, oh, Monkski's back, which means probablemente drunk Warzone. Not that I'm drunk, but, like, I can pass it off. I'll be like, whoa, man, I can barely, whatever. I don't know. Uh, we'll simulate to the midseason mark, see who we either need to re-sign or not. Depends on what the record is. Because uh, this should be the final year. I'm going to be honest. Am I soft right now? Yeah, dude. Five beers in, I'm... Oh, I can barely even stand. That's why I'm sitting down to record. Six and one. Leading the AFC East currently. Le'Veon Bell is a free agent. I don't really feel like re-signing anybody just because I think that this will be the final year. I don't want to make this uh, make this video too long for you guys. We've already been live for an hour and a half. So, six and one. We should be good enough to make not only the playoffs, but secure a first round bye. And hopefully win the Super Bowl. So, I am excited for the potential of this. And, survey says, first round by 12 and 4 for the New York Jets. 21st offense. That's not good. Probably number one defense, if I had to guess. 17th? How do we go 12 and 4? I don't know. Fields was pretty good. Just the yards aren't up there. Le'Veon Bell was great. Just not a ton of receiving yards, but 10 touchdowns apiece for Denzel Mims and Allen Robinson. I'll take that any day of the week. Blocking could be worse. CJ Mosley, very solid year. Tackle for loss, 15 for Mack. Are we getting any pressure on the quarterback? How do we have Khalil Mack and JJ Watt adding up to nine sacks? I mean, are you kidding me? We got a, a lot of picks, though, so I'll take that. But, I mean, like... That just shows you how bad this game is in terms of playbook battering over actual personnel. There is not a world, there is not a planet where J.J. Watt and Khalil Mack on the same team add up to nine sacks. There just isn't. Justin Fields at number three for MVP. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Lamar Jackson. Justin Fields at two. Defense Player of the Year, Merlin Robertson. No Jets. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Glenn Jupin. Ugh. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Quantavius Shepard. Brandon Johnston at nine. Uh, and that was, that's it. That is, uh, that is very interesting there. I don't know how we did as well as we did. But since I'm doing all this live, that pretty much uh, throws cheating out the window. Unless I'm just like, you know, a beast. And I, I did it somehow without anyone knowing. I don't know how I get accused of cheating. I always say all the time, it doesn't matter. Me winning the Super Bowl or not winning the Super Bowl or winning games or being successful does not actually change the number of views that I'm going to get. So whether I'm successful or not, it's irrelevant. It's about building the team and the process to get there. I know I've said that a million times, but I mean, anytime people think there's something up, they got to tell me in the comment section below. I'm like, didn't force any wins. Didn't do anything quite like that. Although I should, that would be realistic. As we have the Chargers in the divisional. Like that. Sean Beck will upgrade so this will be the final season. So this playoff run is it, boys. Which means we're going to go into Super Sim. We're going to hope for the best. 
it's a really, really solid team. Now it's just about actually going out and performing. I think we're capable of it. The question is, are the boys committed to winning? We got home field advantage. Chargers coming into MetLife, taking on Khalil Mack, taking on J.J. Watt, taking on Allen Robinson, taking on Le'Veon Bell, Justin Fields, Jamar Chase, and the New York Jets. I mean, we had a, we had a ton of great players on this team now at this point. Maybe we'd even be better off without Jamal Adams. I don't know. You tell me. Super Sim. The Chargers are going to murder us, by the way. So this is going to be a bad ending to the video, but it is what it is. It's not ideal. It really isn't, but... Oh, it's raining. Trayvon Wesco is ready to go. JJ Watts on fucking kickoff. What are we doing here? Chargers take an early 7-0 lead where we answer with a field goal. Chargers answer with a field goal of their own as we get another field goal. How about a touchdown? How about not scoring at all? I mean, Jesus. 13-6 Chargers. 20-6 Chargers. We answer, but the Chargers are relentless in their pursuit of victory. It is 30-20, to 20, three and a half minutes to play. You guys know how good I am. I'm stepping in. <laughs> um... Also, I had to delete the game in order to install a Warzone update. Of course, stream that. Uh, a lot of nights on my Twitch. So, oop, didn't take a great angle there. Um, so, yeah, I, it's popping up tutorials and shit. Our rushing defense ranked number one on the season. Not so good right now. Herbert's getting ready to hand it off. Let's bring Edwards up to the line. Marcus May up to the line. They're going to cut it outside and get the first down, I'm sure. Up the middle. Yeah, Eckler. Eckler's falling forward. That's great. Yes, game's over. That's just what it is. Two minutes. Down by ten. There just isn't really a scenario where we win this, unfortunately. I don't really want to call my timeouts, but if we don't, we're going to lose. And if we do, we're probably going to lose. So this, this is not a great position to be in. Rip the ball out, JJ. I got to call timeouts. Not idea. We just need to set everyone to take the football away. How do I even do that? Coaching adjustments. Give me the football. Give me the ball. That's all I want. Give me the football. Mid blitz every time. Give me the football. Why are you guys freaking out about a running back wearing 21? For LaDainian Tomlinson on the Chargers? Well, that's a touchdown. Kind of vacated the middle there. No, we were running mid-blitz and they just... A hole opened up and he hit it. There's... I mean, I don't know. There's not a scenario where we win the game. So that just kind of is what it is. Everyone in the chat wants a punt. You guys think I still got it? Down by 17 with two minutes to, get to play. You guys just want to punt? Wow, first time punt for zero gifted. I'm inclined to do that. Zero? Zero is a lot. That's almost as much as one. Play action, wide receiver in. Denzel Mims. Touchdown. Give it to me. Oh, Bose is coming. Bose is coming. Denzel Mims, did he catch it? Oh, hell yeah. Let's, uh, let's focus up, man. Jamar Chase streak. We're all over it. We're going to throw that deep. Justin Fields underthrows it to Allen Robinson. Can't haul it in. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, I think there's a 0% chance we win this game at this point. At this particular point in time, I imagine we are fucked. Block Bell. On the run. On the money. Allen Robinson touchdown. That's how you read a defense. I know what you guys are thinking. That was single turning into double coverage. Don't worry about it. Easy reads. That's the way it's done right there. And now it's within 10. 
Dude, all we need are two onside kicks, and we're golden. Dude, we're golden. That's easy money. Although onside kicks are, like, impossible to get. Especially when it goes to a receiver in Mike Williams. Yeah, it's no good. However, with two timeouts, we, uh, can I, okay, hold on, hold on. I need, I need to play. He's going to check down there. Hit stick. How did that happen? Interesting. Uh, Bangle, you suck. Uh, oh, a comments here. I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. How about, how about somebody make a fucking tackle? You know? But, like, also hit the, get the football. You know? I don't, I don't even want a tackle. I wanted, I wanted the football. We missed a tackle. What do you guys want from me? Oh, that's because you put it on aggressive. That's because I want to win. Excuse me for wanting to win. Bell's going to block. Allen Robinson streak. Can I change this to rookie difficulty mid-game? I think it's on all pro right now. Fields. Down the field. Robinson. I mean, I don't know how we always get a step. And then we can't score from it. We had a step. Who is... Is that Darwin James lit up? Listen, if it reaches fourth down, guys, maybe maybe I'll show you a punt. There's a flag. It's a hold anyway, so the play wouldn't have counted. Because this is the situation we want to hold in. John Hill, you fucking useless piece of shit. It stops the clock. That's the best thing you can say about that. On the on the run. Catch this. Jacoby Myers. It's overthrown. Nearly intercepted. Fourth and 21. All right, boys. This is what you signed up for. This is what you came here for. You came here for the punt. Do I still have it? That's the question. I mean... Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> he only took it to the to back in our our territory. This fucking game. What do you what do you want from me? Seven mile per hour win the other way. Uh, it is what it is. But that is gonna do it for the video. Simulation is stupid. It is what it is. I mean, there's never a situation where we're actually gonna win with a good team because the game's terrible. So, sorry if Madden is your favorite game and I insulted your favorite game. I can tell you there are some guys at EA that feel the exact same way as I do. But it's the higher-ups that approve things. And certain things are going to stay the same forever. Can't wait for Madden 21. It definitely won't be more the exact same for a full calendar year. This is a full team. Uh, final team. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm excited about the team that we built. They just couldn't do it in the end because they were never going to. A lot of regression is hit because we're in the offseason now, but uh, that is what the final team is looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the live rebuild. Make sure to come over on Twitch and and uh, don't ask me to do them because it's once in a blue moon. I wish I had a blue moon on me, but it's a fucking Modelo. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.